Welcome to Roadmap to One Million. My name is Stacey Zeal, and if you're looking to make more money, gain your time back, and rapidly grow your visibility so that you can impact way more people with your brilliance, you're in the right place. This podcast is your one-stop shop for turning your online business dreams into a reality. My main goal is to give women entrepreneurs just like you the marketing strategies, guidance, and expert insights you need to hit that million-dollar milestone and beyond. Whether you're a coach, a consultant, or an online brand that wants to make a big impact, Roadmap to One Million gives you the actionable strategies and inspiration you need so that you can implement right away, no fluff, no fuss. So CEO, are you ready to buckle up and accelerate your growth? Be sure to follow the show and let's dive in. Get ready to uncover your Roadmap to One Million. Hello, hello. Welcome to Roadmap to One Million. I am super excited for you to be here. Today, we are talking about impact. We're talking about visibility. We're talking about impact. And this is a podcast that gives you the strategies and the marketing secrets to increasing your sales without sacrificing your time or your life. And it's particularly relevant for summertime as summertime is my favorite time of the year. I don't know about y'all, but for me, that means cookouts, festivals. And if you're a fellow Marylander like me, that means lots of crabs. Um, but what it doesn't include though, what, it doesn't include being stuck inside. It doesn't include being glued to my laptop or stuck inside all day or having to take my um, laptop with me when I go on vacation. So this is a series. This is a, the third episode in this three part series. Um, what I'm calling the maximize your summer series to really, I created it to give you the insights, the tactics, and really the permission to do what you have to do in your business to enjoy your summer without being tied to work. I very much am about my business, but I'm also very much about my life. And I want to make sure that while I am building a, you know, a seven figure business and beyond why I am wanting to have this tremendous impact, I understand that my life is important. My living my personal life is important. Being able to get a step away from business is important to me. And if that's something that's important to you, you definitely want to make sure you're listening to this series because last week's episode was all about maximizing your time. It's about what can you do in your business to be able to take the time to kind of gain your time back, to take that time that you would be, you know, investing in creating organic content, creating blog posts, YouTube, creating social posts, and really taking that and maximizing that so that way you can spend your time with your family. You can spend your time traveling the world. You can spend your time, you know, enjoying, you know, being outside and being social with your friends and things like that. So you can enjoy that rather than feeling like you're glued to your business and stuck inside. So last week's episode was all about maximizing your time. So make sure you go back and listen to that. The first episode was all about making more money with ease. So if you want to be able to make more money with ease, definitely make sure you go back to episode 40. The series are episodes 40, 41, and 42. So this episode is all about impact because that's one thing that a lot of us start our businesses because we want to impact people. I know that I started my business because I want to help CEOs. I want to particularly help women, black women CEOs make a lot more money without feeling like they are glued to their business, without feeling like they are losing their precious light to burnout or feeling like they're just doing things that are not, that they're stuck, right? So I cr- that's that's the impact that I want to have. I want to be able to help so many businesses just make so much more money, make have, have beautiful lives, and be able to impact the people that they want to impact and have these big impacts. A lot of the people that come my way want to have big impacts. Like they want to change the freaking world, and I love it. I am so here for it, and I love it. And so this episode, I'm going to talk about Visibility, impact, all those kinds of things. And so one of my first memories of impactful marketing happened when I was like nine. I remember one day I got a big package of the mail. It was interesting because it was an oddly shaped package. It was um, rectangle-shaped package. It was really long. Um, I was just like, what is this? And I also was just like, why is this addressed to me? Like, it literally had my information on there, my name. Um, I'm like, well, why is this addressed to me? Like, why I don't get mail. Right? I'm like nine. I don't get mail. <laughs> um, so I opened the box like super fast. You know, when you got mail as a kid, you're just like, oh my gosh, I got something in the mail. So I opened it super fast and there was a letter inside, but I was like, forget this letter. I I won't, I'll let, read the letter later. Like, what is all this stuff in here? And so I looked in the box and there was a bunch of chips. Um, specifically they were, they were Stacy's pita chips. And if you've heard of that brand, 
um, then this will, this story will definitely give you a kick. So when I was reading the letter, I finally was just like, okay, I see all these snacks in here, these pita chips that I had never heard of before because it was a long time ago. <laughs> um, but but I just was like, okay, what's going on here? So I read the letter and it was from their founder, Stacy Madison. And she was saying that essentially, you know, I, I can't remember exactly what the letter said, but essentially she was saying that she launched a new brand called Stacy's Pita Chips. And the way that she thought to be able to get her brand out there was to send a box of this box to of snacks to any person that she could find with the name Stacy that she could get the address from. And I just was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like I, at, at the time I just was like, okay, I feel like I'm part of this like exclusive club, right? Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is great. Like only people, you know, my sister's name is Nicole. She didn't get one, right? Like my mom didn't get one. Um, I only got it, right? So it felt like I was a part of this cool club of Stacey's. And I didn't realize it at the time, but when I think back to it, I just like, oh my goodness, what an impactful marketing campaign. Like they created a campaign that, reached thousands of people, maybe even millions of people. I don't know how many people she was able to track down with the name Stacy, right? But she was able to reach a ton of potential new customers with messaging that lasts a lifetime. So even to this day, like when I see Stacy's pita chips in the stores, I feel like I'm still a part of that exclusive club. Like I have this story to, you know, um, to go back to. And it's amazing because that like the messaging there is so simple yet so impactful. It's magnetic, right? It makes me feel like I'm a part of something. That's what I like to call it, magnetic messaging. It has a way of cutting through the noise and touching your customers in a way that turn them into loyal super fans. And if you want to make an impact, that is something that you have to think about. It's like, how am I going to be able to impact the masses at scale? Because that's what we're talking about here. It's about being able to Take something that you're doing marketing wise and have it grow and evolve into a thing that impacts millions. And so if you're someone who wants to impact the masses, you have to figure out how do I step outside of my existing circle of people? And you can't see me making a little circle around my body and stepping outside of it. (laughs) I don't know why I did that, but if you want, you have to be able to step outside of that existing sphere that you're living in right now. And if you're primarily marketing on Facebook and Instagram, whether that's, or, you know, when, and you're doing it organically, the problem with that, in addition to organic reach dropping, you know, Instagram's organic reach dropped like 43% in two years. With Facebook, only one in 19 of your Facebook fans actually sees your content, right? And so taking that off the table, right? Stepping outside of that, if you're, if you're primarily focusing on those channels and you want to step outside of your sphere, it's really hard to do that organically because of how the algorithms are set up on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram's algorithm is designed to show you content of people who you've engaged with before. Their whole thing is, I will keep you on this platform longer if you see content that you've engaged with before, if you see content that you have expressed interest in before, not a ton of new content. Yes, they're building that kind of stuff into their platforms now with reels and all those kinds of things. But Facebook and Instagram is really built for staying within your community and being able to take your messages and get it in front of the same people over and over and over again. So what happens is the same people are seeing the same stuff, but then the new people are not seeing that stuff, right? So think about when you're launching. I just recently had a launch, right? And so now you're seeing posts from three days ago on Facebook. I don't know about your timeline, but my timeline, it'll say like, you know, I'll even get notifications for stuff that say, oh, you got this notification two minutes ago. But you go to the post and the post was from five hours ago, right? And so we're seeing stuff in our feed that is old. And it's not that that to say that the content's not good, right? That's not that's not what I'm saying. It's saying I'm saying that there's a delay in what you're what people are actually seeing. Are you a CEO with an amazing one to many offer who's tired of creating endless amounts of content that is not helping you hit your high revenue goals? Well, look no further than Maximize with Ads. Maximize with Ads is designed to help you exponentially increase your sales, rapidly grow your visibility, and gain your time back by leveraging the power of Facebook and Instagram ads. From developing a a scalable Facebook ad strategy, to setting up your tech, to targeting the right audiences, and creating irresistible ads, we've got you covered. Plus, our private support community is always available to answer your questions and provide personalized feedback. 
If you're ready to stop spending all your valuable CEO time creating endless amounts of content and start executing a leveraged strategy that allows you to travel the world, pay for private school, or start living the life you started your business to live in the first place, then head over to MaximizeWithAds.com to enroll. Visit MaximizeWithAds.com to learn more and get started today. All right, let's jump back into the episode. And on top of that, the same people are seeing your stuff. And so if you want to be someone who impacts the masses, if you want to be someone who takes your brilliance, your offers, your course, your digital products, your memberships, your, your summits, whatever it, your offers in your business, if you are someone who wants to impact the masses and impact lots of people, thousands more people, hundreds more people, millions more people, then you have to start to figure out how do I step outside my current sphere of influence? How do I create messaging that is simple, that cuts through the noise and turns people into loyal super fans like that, like Stacey's Pita Chips has done, right? They have someone who will always remember that they were a part of that first club of Stacey's and can tell you this story, right? Look what I'm doing. I am telling you this story and I'm telling you when you go to the store and you see Stacey's Pita Chips, you're going to think about this episode. That is impact right there. And I know that that's what you want because that's why you started your business. You started your business to help people, whether that's helping people to, you know, uh, better their finances, whether that's helping people to grow their business, whether it's helping people to grow their visibility and their impact. And you spend all this time helping them grow their visibility and impact. And you're like, oh, crap, I got to grow my own visibility and impact. Right. So if you want to impact more clients with your brilliance, you have to take your visibility up a notch. Staying the best kept secret in your industry is a disservice to all the people out there that are waiting for a person like you to show up with an offer that changes their life. And I do not say that lightly. I mean that with my whole chest. There are so many people out there who need what you want, who need what you offer, who want to hear it from a person like you. There are lots of people that talk about ads. People buy from me because they like me because they have to know who I am first, right? They have to know who I am. They trust that I can give them the information that they are, that they're, that they're looking to get, that they trust that I can get them the transformation, that they trust themselves to get that transformation also. But then they also have, they like me. They like the way I teach. They like the way I speak. They like the way I talk. They like the way I say things. And there are people out there that are waiting for you to do that as well. But the problem is that you're just stuck in that, cer- that current circle of influ- influence if you're relying on organic social. You're just stuck within those people who have just gotten to know you. And yes, do you want to, are you building your following? You're doing the reels. You're doing all those things. Cool. Yes. But it's summertime. I'm not creating the extra reels. <laughs> it's summertime. I'm not, I don't want to create extra blog posts, right? I want to be able to grow my business, maintain that momentum that I built up for the first half of the year while I still am able to have my time, but still having that impact that I want to have. And I know you want to have an impact. That's why you're listening to this show. So if you're feeling like it's time to take your business up a notch, and definitely if you're experiencing success already, but you're feeling like you could be impacting so many more people if you got more people into your world. If so many more people knew what you did, then you could impact so many more people. And if that's where you're at, I really, really invite you to join my course, Maximize With Ads. Because Facebook ads give you the opportunity to rapidly grow your visibility so that you can impact exponentially more people. So all of those people that are within your current Facebook uh, uh, sphere, you get to step outside of that with ads. You get to say, you know what? Show my ad to a million people, not just the hundred people that are already in my current influence that or, or just the hundred people that engage with me all the time. Right. You have to be able to step beyond. And in order to make a bigger impact, people need to know that you can help them. So if they're not connected to you from a friend of a friend of a friend, they have no idea that you even exist. You, they are looking for you and your solution and your offer, that digital product that you have sitting over there collecting dust, that's impactful for people, that course, that is not your primary focus because your one-on-one clients are taking up all your time. There are people out there that are looking for those solutions. They just don't know you exist. They don't know that you have it. They haven't heard of you before. They haven't been able to consume your brilliance because they just don't know you exist. And so it's time to branch out of your existing bubble, aka your comfort zone and amplify your impact with ads. 
And you don't need an agency to do this. You don't need to go on 50 guest podcasts a week. You don't need to hire a, you know, to, you don't need to become a pre-R professional. You don't need to be pitching Harrow, you know, help, which is, stands for help a reporter out 17 times a week, right? You don't need to be doing that in order to grow your visibility and your impact. You just need to invest in ads to learn the exact roadmap to getting thousands more people into your marketing ecosystem. By doing this yourself, by running your own ads, by having your hand on the wheel and control and steering the wheel and controlling where you're going. So if that is where you're at, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to have the biggest impact possible. Then you definitely want to head over to MaximizeWithAds.com to enroll today. You can use the pro, use the code ROADMAP to save $300 for my podcast listeners. So that's what I got for you today. I really want you to take away from this episode that... The impact that you want to have is possible. The impact that you want to have is possible. You have to make sure that your marketing evolves and grows and shifts and change to impact, to make sure that that impact continues to grow. And if you're relying on organic social, then you're leaving so much impact on the table. There are so many people who do not know who you are because of the algorithm. So time to invest in ads, time to step outside of that sphere. So that's what I got for y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this Maximize Your Summer series. Make sure that you leave us a review um, or send me a DM on Instagram. Leaving us reviews actually does help the podcast grow. It really does. Also, I read the, I read reviews, so I make sure I want to go see what y'all are saying. But I want to know what your takeaways are. I want to know what you're thinking about these kinds of series. Because when you let me know if you like the series, then I'll make sure that I do them some more. So Hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know what nuggets you took away from it. Make sure you share it with a friend and I will see y'all next week on next uh, on next week's episode. OMG, that episode was packed with gems. Are you ready for more? Head over to stacyzeal.co slash podcast to get the show notes and to sign up to get our top five podcast episodes to help you streamline your marketing so you can make this your million dollar year. Head over to stacyzeal.co slash podcast.